tonight. Why so high? Prices may be swinging wildly between $2.50 and perhaps $5 a gallon. So you better plan for the tough days as well as the days when it's, it's not so much of a dent in your wallet. And from the cause to the consequences, American ingenuity keeps the country rolling. There are non-four-wheeled alternatives to getting around and getting around efficiently. We'll bring you the news next on Dan Rather Report. Even in this car-crazed capital, $4 a gallon gasoline has made this a common scene. All right, let me go over a couple of things with you and we'll be on our way, okay? okay. Claudia Rode is picking up her new Toyota Yaris. I was just looking for something economical that looks good, you know, good in gas, and I think I found the perfect car. It looks great and um, it's very compact. <laughs> Small in size, but big on mileage. 39 on the highway. But in LA, always on the cutting edge, there's small, and then there's small. Really small. This is the latest trend on California roads. And talk about mileage. This baby sips where others drink. I'm so glad that I drive the Vespa every day. <laughs> this is Russell Stroud, and this is how he gets around town. Really, his Vespa scooter, all 12 horsepower, is the latest trend. And in a city known for creative driving, the Vespa adds this to the mix. I think people hate it when I go by and they're sitting still on the freeway and I'm zipping through the cars. Sometimes they even kind of edge towards you to, to keep you from going by. If I'm driving my car to school, it's going to take me an hour, hour and 15, hour and a half. If I drive the Vespa, it's never taken me longer than 30 minutes, even with bumper to bumper traffic. Because, you know, you can go between the cars on the freeway, and besides that, you can go for a week without filling it up, and then when you fill it up, it's like $8. And I think people are starting to realize that there are non four wheeled alternatives to getting around and getting around efficiently. Drew Teague is a Vespa salesman who has been dealing with a mad rush of commuters who are willing to leave the safety of their cars to avoid the pain at the pump. While big cars are sitting in showrooms, Teague's sales of these Italian-made scooters are up more than 100%, and he has a problem most car dealers would love. So we're selling over twice as many bikes to the point where it's almost hard to keep them in stock. We've actually had to get shipments about every week uh, truckloads of bikes in here to, to fulfill the, uh, the needs of what everybody's looking for. I just had a couple that came in, they each had a Range Rover uh, getting, you know, what, sub 15 MPG per vehicle and they said, we have just had it, you know. So they're selling one, they're getting a Vespa and they're tripling or more their average fuel efficiency for their transportation. The main selling point of a Vespa is not how much time you can save on your commute, but how much gas. Vespas can get up to 70 miles per gallon, almost double the mileage of a hybrid car. And that's made these $5,000 scooters an easy sell, wherever gasoline prices are high. To get this and other great HDNet programming, call your cable or satellite provider and ask for HDNet.